Hello, everyone. And today we're going to talk about a, a uh, Groby Python uh, API example, uh, offshore wind farm, uh, wing farming. And this is a, a typical so-called fixed ch charge network design problem. Okay. And in this example, we <clears throat> trying to solve a offshore uh, wind for, uh, power generation problem. Is basically a power distribution problem, and the goal, uh, the objective is trying to figure out which uh, underwater cables should we lay uh, to connect those uh, wind farm power network uh, with the minimum cost. And this problem was uh, <clears throat> formulated as a mixed integer programming problem. Okay. And here, the motivation gives you some background on the climate change and <clears throat> why the wind farm uh, farming is a uh, popular topic nowadays, is the green energies and so on. However, this offshore <clears throat> uh, wind turbine uh, can be uh, located uh, far away from the shoreline or coastline, actually. Uh, getting a better uh, wing um, breeze and therefore create uh, better power uh, in that sense. And, but eventually they have to be uh, transferred into, uh, on, onto the land or continent and in order to supply the, de uh, the demand which is closer to the cities and the sources needed to uh, the cities and trying to uh, uh, consume these power. Uh, the nice things about the uh, this, we need to start laying cables in order to transfer uh, some of the power generated from the uh, distance from the coast and to the uh, power station, actually a turbine power station closer to the shore. So here is the example I have. So far, and here uh, <clears throat> uh, we have uh, actually six different uh, wind turbine. Okay, and some of them far away from the shore, uh, some of it closer to the shore. For this example, <clears throat> uh, the turbine zero, one, two, three are kind of distance from the uh, shore. And power, uh, power uh, turbine four and five are uh, closer to the demand, so they have a uh, negative value, which is represents demand. Okay, and some of them actually <clears throat> just transfer whatever uh, power send it to it and immediately transfer out. So some of them has a supply. We see the red characters. How much uh, power this turbine can supply? Uh, <clears throat> by definition, probably the uh, turbine uh, uh, distance from the shore creates a little bit more supply. And the turbine closer to the shore and generate not enough, so it has demand, which requires the other ones actually uh, supply these uh, negative demand. All right. So this is uh, pretty much. And the network graph we have here is for each possible way to connect these two turbines is for uh, each one of the line we lay in between and has a upper capacity which is the capacity of the cable <clears throat> and the cost to transfer the power between these two uh, turbines. Okay. And there's a fixed cost if we want to use this line, which is we decided to lay this cable. So there's a fixed cost of FIJ. In the past, we have a so-called fixed, uh, in the facility location problem, the fixed cost is on the, uh, on the node, the, the vertex. But in this particular application, what we have is the fixed cost is on the uh, edges or the arc, which means should we use, utilize this uh, edges or this arc on the network? If we do, then we have a fixed cost. And also there is a variable cost associated to 
using the uh, how much flow going on this uh, f uh, arc. And there's also a capacity, what is the uh, maximum capacity for those. So this is a, a pretty interesting problem. So here we uh, introduce, uh, next we introduce the problem formulation, okay. <clears throat> we have total 0 to 5, so total 6 different uh, uh, node or vertices, and they have a couple different arcs. Uh, each one with the capacity, the variable flow cost, and the fixed cost, we want to use that line. We want to lay a cable between those two uh, wind turbine. I will formulate this as a so-called uh, network graph problem with a graph of G with a set of uh, edges instead of, uh, sorry, set of uh, vertices instead of edges. Okay. And the parameter we use is S means the supply of each one of the turbine, SI, is a power supply at a vertices I. So if SI is greater than zero, like we illustrated here, it's a positive, the red characters, <clears throat> it is, uh, means this particular turbine generates a uh, supply. If the SI is less than zero, is a negative on example, uh, turbine four and five, and that means they have uh, demand. So their supply is, uh, the, the power they generate on this station is not sufficient to supply the overall demand. So therefore, <clears throat> it will require other turbines to actually supply these demand. Okay. And UIJ is the uh, maximum current capacity on the cable f between uh, vertices I and J. CIJ is the cost per unit of a current flow through the vertices, okay? So <clears throat> this is just the variable flow uh, cost. FIJ, on the other hand, is the fixed cost laying a cable from vertex I to vertex J, which is between two turbines. <clears throat> I have a two different type of uh, uh, Decision variable, one is binary variable called install, ij or not. If we decided to lay a cable between vertices i and vertices j, then this install ij equals to one, otherwise equal to zero. So it's a, a decision, do we want to use that uh, edges or not, or lay a cable, create a connection between turbine i and turbine j. Second is, <clears throat> second decision variable is the how much flow between uh, I and J, turbine I and turbine J. <clears throat> so this is a non-negative uh, continuous variable. So this is uh, two different type of uh, variable. One is binary, one is a uh, uh, real number. So therefore the problem itself is a mixed integer programming problem. My objective function is fairly straightforward, is the total uh, current flow, okay, actually the flow between I and J, each one of them has a fixed connection cost or a flow cost. And also based on the decision of the installing a cable between uh, turbine I and turbine J, there's a fixed cost on that particular uh, connection. Two different, very simple, different type of a constraint. One is the typical so-called flow conservation constraint, which is total inflow e minus total outflow equals to the supply or demand on that particular vertices or that turbine power station. So we talk about these before. So this is what we call the flow balancing constraint or flow conservation constraint total inflow to the J and or total outflow from J to uh, other uh, node uh, equals to the supply or demand for that particular uh, uh, power station. <clears throat> and the second is a very straightforward the flow uh, capacity constraint, which means the flow between I and J uh, has to be uh, either has to be greater than zero, uh, greater than equal to zero, or less than equal to uh, capacity. Okay. 
So Python implementation will give you a set of example, and here we have vertex is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Each one of them has a so-called uh, supply or demand. The positive represents supply, the negative represents uh, <coughs> demand. And the zero means this particular just the transition node. So it's, uh, it's power it generates, it just covers its um, demand. That's it. The next table will give you the capacity, the flow cost, and the fixed cost for each one uh, between each one of possible edges, uh, which is possible line we can lay. First is uh, between 0 and 4, 0 and 3, 1 to 3, 2 and 4, and 3 and 4, and 3 and 5. The flow capacity and the uh, flow, uh, flow cost for millions of uh, euros. And fixed cost if I trying to lie, uh, lay a cable between those two. So this is a basically <clears throat> uh, it's an easy part where I give all the uh, uh, variable costs and the fixed cost equal to one, and the capacity equals to four two three two two one is, is a maximum flow capacity. All right. <clears throat> For uh, Initially, for the Python implementation, we give, uh, of course, import a uh, Groby API for Python. Okay, Groby uh, Pi and Groby Pi import the GRB is the uh, data uh, formulation. So we have first introduced the vertex and his demand as a no zero two five and each one have a demand or supply on that particular node. <clears throat> also, we're giving a so-called uh, multi-dimensional dictionary for edges, between edges, and capacity, flow cost, and fixed cost, which is in a tuple, okay, in an array, um, <clears throat> given similar to the table. So between, uh, 0 and 4, 0 and 3, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 5, uh, 3, 4, and 3, 5. And each one of them has a capacity, flow, co uh, cost, and uh, fixed cost as a dictionary. Next, just simply we create a model, okay, the model, Gorobi uh, <coughs> Python model called Offshore Wing Farming. And using abbreviation represent that model. You call the M, okay. And um, first, we call the uh, define the variables. Very simple. Adding two different type of variable. First is the install variable, okay, and it's uh, binary variables in here. Uh, it's between edges, okay. <clears throat> Also, the flow is also between edges, uh, is a continuous variable, and the name is called flow. Next, what we do is adding two constraints for first flow balancing constraint and the flow capacity constraint. Here we have the first constraint <coughs> is some mention all the flow <coughs> inflow, okay, and this is the outflow for the V, V is the vertices, equals to the supply or demand we have, okay, on the node. And V is, uh, and supplies is in vertices items, which means is, uh, V is equals to each one of the vertices and supply is in one of these uh, vertices, okay? <clears throat> also, the second constraint is the flow capacity constraint flow on each one of the uh, pair of the edges, E, is less than or equals to the capacity on that particular uh, times the install, which means if the install is decision is one, then the capacity taken into effect. If there's no cable between this ed uh, on these edges, then the capacity equal to zero. Therefore, the flow is supposed to be equal to zero as well. So this is uh, <coughs> depends on if you want to install a cable between uh, on these edges or not. Okay, so the right hand side based on a decision. Objective function is total flow. Okay. 
which is the flow times the flow cost, the install times the fixed cost. Okay, fairly simple. This is a an objective function is trying to minimize the object uh, objective function. Then we run the optimization m dot optimize trying to have a Groby solve for it. Okay, and <clears throat> and when we solve this for it takes uh, very few uh, seconds to, and the solution is actually $17 million total. And and there's a, a actually pre solve find the optimal solution already. So there's no simplex iteration used in that case. So we can easily find the optimal solution for that because the data was pretty straightforward at least. Finally, we <coughs> can use uh, some of the for loop and point out the solution. First is the uh, decision if we want to, uh, the install is greater than uh, 0.5, which means as I have a cable installed between these edges. So the cable between 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 4, and 3, 5 has a cable lay around. And for each one of those, and I'm trying to see how much flow capacity I'm using. So between each one of the pair of the uh, location, and uh, what is the flow capacity um, actually we have. <coughs> So this is a very easy, straightforward. However, the uh, the reason I introduced this problem is a uh, very uh, unless the except the uh, fixed cost, fixed charge for the uh, on the edges on the on the arc, and everything else is just a straightforward network flow problem. And the amazing thing is uh, the Gorobi can uh, find the optimal solution without using any of this uh, branch and bound algorithm directly using his pre-solve um, <coughs> uh, heuristic can find the optimal solution already. So the solution for this problem is fairly efficient and that's why I'm uh, using a short video to introduce this. And network design problem was a, a popular problem and initially from the telecommunication when the mobile network was uh, <clears throat> was uh, mobile network, our uh, cell phone mobile network was very popular, and the infrastructure of design uh, installing additional uh, cell uh, node for the uh, signal is in, important. So therefore, uh, the fixed charge the network design problem was very. Uh, popular in the telecommunication industry. However, this is a power distribution uh, type of uh, application as well uh, as becoming more and more important in the energy sector. So uh, I'm going to conclude this uh, lectures and we'll see you in the next uh, example. Thank you. Bye-bye.